아, 지금 여러분들이 이, 배우고 있는 이 건강 원리는 굉장히 중요한 겁니다. Uh, what you are learning, those uh, health principles, are very important ones. 아침에 우리가 읽은 말씀처럼 신선한 공기, 햇빛, 음식, 운동, 절제 이런 것들은 굉장히 필요한 요소들입니다. As we read this morning, the fresh air and temperance and good rest and water and healthy diet, all these things are very, very important. 여러분 공기 안 마시고 살수 있습니까? May I see your hands if anybody can live without breathing oxygen? <웃음> Cannot live. 깨끗한 공기를 마시라는 것입니다. We need to breathe a clean, fresh air. 예, 우리가 공기를 마시고 사는데 그게 많은 나쁜 것들이 들어와서 병이 생긴다는 것입니다. Uh, many of us are having trouble because in the air there's a lot of toxins and, and uh, those things are not good for our body. Harmful things are coming into our body through our breathing. 예, 물 마셔야 삽니까? Is it necessary to drink water? Do you think we can live without drinking water? 여러분, 식물을 심어 놓고 비가 안 오면 어떻게 되지요? When we plant uh, something and there's no water, what will happen? 살아있는 예? 죽는데. 예. 예. <웃음> 예, 살아있는 생명체는 물이 필요합니다. All the living things need water desperately. 식물을 심어 놓고 계속 그릇만 주면 어떻게 될까요? Think about it. You planted a seed and without giving water you just give fertilizer after fertilizer and more fertilizer. 예, 물을 주지 않고 식물에다 자꾸 영양소만 주면 어떻게 될까요? Without giving water to the plant, you just give it nutrition all the time. What will happen? 예, 영양소를 흡수할 수도 없을 뿐 아니라 it cannot absorb the nutrition into the plant. 예, 그 because of that too much nutrition, that plant will be suffocated and be dead. 예, 않고, Without drinking water, <웃음> we just take good nutrition and good food all the time. What will happen? 예, that becomes the cause of sickness in our body. 자, 깨끗한 물을 마시고 we need to drink a clean water 깨끗한 공기를 마시고 and we need to inhale clean uh, 햇, fresh air 예, 햇빛 에너지를 피부로 받고 음식으로 먹고 and we eat the solar energy through our food and also receive on our skin 예, 우리가 받아 먹은 것을 사용할 때에 그게 내 힘이 되고 면역이 되는 것이기 때문에 활동해야 합니다 and when we receive those energies we need to utilize it through our activities. 그리고 우리가 음식을 먹어야 살지만 잘못된 음식을 먹으면 병이 생깁니다. We need to eat food for our health, but if we eat wrong kind of food, then it also causes sickness. 그래서 우리가 식사를 어떻게 해야 되는지를 아는 것은 대단히 중요합니다. That's why what kind of meal we need to prepare and eat is very important. 예, 그리고 우리가 아무리 좋은 음식을 할지라도 부질질하게 먹으면 그것도 질병이 됩니다. And even though let's say some food is a very healthy and good food, but if we have no temperance, then it will be also harmful. 그래서 우리는 모든 일에 질제가 필요합니다. That's why in everything we do, there is a temperance is needed. 이 균형이라는 게 굉장히 중요한 거예요. 다시 한 번. 균형. 균형. Uh, balancing Balance. is very important. 음, 굉장히 중요한 것입니다. This is extremely important. 예, 모든 것에 균형이 필요합니다. In everything we need balance. 신앙도 균형이 깨지면 극단이 됩니다. Even in our faith, if the balance is broken, then it becomes extremist. 예. 그저 하나님 믿으면 다 되는 것처럼 비는 신앙은 거의 미신 신앙입니다. If we uh, some people just uh, I just believe I believe and they think that everything will be done that is a, is a wrong kind of faith. 네, 무조건 율법을 지켜야 되기 때문에 철저하게 지키려고 하는 것도 행위 신앙이 되기 때문에 극단입니다. And 
Also, some people think that I uh, just believe and uh, then everything will be done. Uh, they go to uh, another extreme. Yeah, Always the uh, believing and works Faith and works has to be balanced. The same way our body, the, uh, all the uh, nutrition has to have a balance. And our activities of the day and resting of the night also has to have a balance. All these things, doing it right is very important. 그런데 이 모든 치료 제도를 통해서 치료하시는 하나님을 믿어야 합니다. To do that, to have the balance, we need to believe the God who use all this balance and heal our body that God that is the one that we need to believe. 예, 우리가 살아가는 데 필요한 모든 요소는 하나님의 말씀에서 온 것이어야 합니다. We need to understand that all the elements that we need in our daily life is it should be from the word of God. Because these remedies have a powerful healing power. Many occasions, sick people, they have a sickness because they are lacking of this Elements. When they are required to do certain things in their life and they are lacking of that, and that is the becoming the cause of the sickness. When we do those things right, is we eat the word of God and live. I hope that it was a summary of what uh, you have been hearing and also uh, our morning lecture. Uh, yeah. I tried to summarize. Yeah, now you have your book, uh, open page 30. Uh, I have written there in a very simple way uh, five of uh, how to do, how to have the uh, right uh, eating order. Uh, this is uh, God gave us not only from the Garden of Eden. And this was also the Israelite people were supposed to have and live. And this is also uh, because of uh, negligence of God's teaching and many people are sick today and so this is also very uh, important application for our life today. 예, 우리에게 건강을 주는 이 올바른 식사법에 대한 내용을 여러분이 다 읽으시기 바랍니다. I hope that you will read that uh, whole part uh, uh, in your book. Uh, page is actually is uh, the title subtitle is page 29, proper method of eating. There's a subtitle, and you can read on the whole thing. But um, I'm going to read the five. The, there's a five things that are written there. 자 제가 올바른 식사법 다섯 개 읽습니까? 한국말로 먼저. 이제 읽어드리도록 할게요. 아 여기에 기록돼 있는 이 식사법은 제 머리에서 제 생각으로 쓴 글이 아닙니다. Those uh, proper uh, eating uh, is not what I uh, thought about it and brought out of my brain. 엘렌지 화인 여사가 주신 식생활 건면에 대한 말씀을 요약해서 적어놓은 것입니다. And this is what I summarized from the books of Ellen G. White. Uh, she, she, uh, as she gave us a con uh, instruction of the proper diet. If I wrote my thought, then it could be wrong. But this is written by the prophet who inspired by God, so 
it, it, it's a perfectly fitting in with our body. 그래서 이 부분에 기록된 내용들을 여러분이 자세히 읽으시고 실천하시면 도움이 되는 것입니다. I'm certain that when you read this portion carefully and if you practice, certainly you will have uh, great help. 예, 올바른 식사법 다섯 가지를 읽어드리도록 하겠습니다. I'll read five of those uh, uh, proper eating. 예, 먼저 한글부터 읽겠습니다. I'll read in Korean first. 올바른 식사법. 하나님께서 선정해 주신 최선의 음식을 선택한다. 첫 번째, 두 번째는 단순하게 먹되 자연 그대로가 제일 좋다. 세 번째, 간식과 과식을 금하고 규칙적으로 식사한다. 네 번째, 꼭꼭 씹는다. 다섯 번째, 음식을 음식물 배합을 잘한다. Okay, in, in English. Number one. Choose the best foods that, can, that God has selected for us. Number two, eat simply. Eating food in its natural state is best. Number three, refrain from snacking and overeating. Number four, chew thoroughly. Number five, follow proper food combining protocol. 예, 이 다섯 가지 식사 원칙 속에 우리의 모든 식사법이 들어 있습니다. In these five principles, all the important uh, our proper diet is all included. 우리가 먼저 음식을 먹기 위해서는 무슨 음식이 몸에 좋은가를 생각해야 될 것입니다. To eat food, we uh, first we need to think what is a good food for our body. 사람들은 병이 나면 뭐 먹고 났니? 그렇게 묻습니다. When people get sick, the first question they ask is, what did you eat? 뭘 먹어야 이 병이 날까를 생각하지요. They think, how, what should I eat to heal my sickness? 네, 이 병을 고치기 위해서는 무슨 음식을 먹어야 될까? Uh, to heal this uh, illness, what kind of food should I eat? 네, 뭐. 암에는 이런 걸 먹고 당뇨병에는 이런 걸 먹고 간절면 이런 걸 먹고 여러 가지 사람들이 만들어낸 음식들이 많습니다. Uh, they have uh, invented all kinds of food for cancer, this food, for diabetes, for this food, for epilepsy, for this food, all kinds of food. 그런데 우리가 반드시 알아야 할 것은 우리 몸을 창조하신 하나님이 뭘 먹으라고 하셨나에 우리가 귀를 기울여야 합니다. But we, what we must understand is what the creator God who made our body, what he instructs us for us to eat. 그래서 하나님께서 먹으라고 선정해 주신 최선의 음식이 뭔지를 찾아야 합니다. That's why we need to seek what is the best food that God instructed us for us to eat. 그것이 창세기 1장 29절에 있습니다. That is written in Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. 네, 성경 한번 읽어 보겠습니다. Would you like to read that? Genesis 1.29. Okay, Genesis 1.29 says, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for Meat, in other words, for food. Yeah. This This is the food right after God created human being. God instructed what kind of food we human beings should uh, consume. Yeah. Uh. 만약에 우리 몸에 동물성이 필요하다면 하나님께서는 이 동물들을 잡아 먹도록 하셨을 겁니다. If our body needs um, uh, meat, uh, animal products, then God would have instructed us this, this, this you could eat. 네. 창세기 1장 26절 읽어 보시기 바랍니다. In Genesis 1 verse 26. It says, And God said, Let us make a man in our image, after our likeness, 
and let them have a dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. 여기 보면 하나님께서 사람을 창조하셨습니다. After God created Uh, according to his image. 하나님은 자신의 형상을 따라 사람을 창조하셨습니다. God created a human being according to his own image. 그리고 우리 사람을 창조하시고 심히 기뻐하셨습니다. And God was a very uh, happy, pleased after he, uh, he created us. 그리고 그들이 살아가기 위해서는 무엇을 먹어야 하는지를 그분은 하셨습니다. And God knew uh, for human being to live what was needed. 예, 먹고 살도록 만들어 놓으신 하나님께서 먹을 양식을 가르쳐 주셨습니다. God made us to live with eating, so He also taught us what kind of food we should eat. 하나님께서는 이 세상의 모든 생명체들을 창조하셨지만, God created all the things of the earth. 그 중에서 우리 인간이 먹어야 할 음식이 있었습니다. Out of all that, there was a food that we could eat. 예, 바다의 물고기나, the fish in the sea. 공중에 나는 새나 the fowls in the air 땅에 기어다니는 모든 생물은 all the creeping things and walking around things all the life 잡아 먹으라고 했습니까? Did God say catch them and kill them and eat them? 어떻게 생각하세요? What do you think? 잡아 먹으라고 했나요? Did God say ever here kill them and eat them? 그런데 우리가 지금 먹고 있어요, 먹고 있지 않아요. But think about it. Other people around us and or ourselves have been eating those things or not? Yes. <웃음> <웃음> 용감합니다. Yeah, she's brave. <웃음> yeah, 하나님께서는 이런 것들을 먹으라고 만들어 놓지 않았답니다. God, according to the Bible, God did not make them for us to eat. 창세기 1장 28절에도 보면 According to Genesis 1 verse 28 너희가 생육하고 번성하여 땅에 충만하라고 허락하셨습니다. God said be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. 그러면서 또 주의 말씀을 주십니다. And also God gave us a warning. 물에 있는 물고기나 and the uh, uh, fish of the sea 공중에 날아다니는 새나 or the fowl of the, uh, the sky 땅에 기어다니는 짐승들은 and over every living thing that moves upon the earth 절대로 잡아 먹으면 안 돼. You should not kill them. 이거는 먹으면 먹고 사는 게 아니야. This is not for for you to eat. 오늘날 우리가 아마 이런 걸 먹고 살게 될지도 아셨을 겁니다. 다시 한 번. 오늘날 우리가 이런 걸 잡아 먹고 살 줄을 하나님은 아마 아셨을 겁니다. Perhaps God already back then already knew that people will kill them and eat them nowadays. 하나님께서는 반복해서 이거 먹는 게 아니야. 그렇지. That's why God said repeatedly, "This is not." 이것은 다스리라 하시니. God said, "Have dominion over them." 그리고 29절에 보면 우리가 먹을 식물이 뭔지를 가르쳐 주셨고. And in verse 29, uh, detail God instructed us what we should eat. 그다음에 30절에는 짐승들이 뭘 먹을 걸 가르쳐 주셨죠. And next verse, verse 30, God explained what the, all the animals should eat as a food. 원래 짐승들이 짐승을 잡아 먹고 살게 돼 있지 않았습니다. Originally, in the creation. The, all the other animals were not supposed to eat other animals. 네, 짐승들은 풀을 뜯어 먹게 돼 있습니다. All the animals were supposed to eat grass. 네, 짐승 강한 짐승이 약한 짐승을 잡아 먹고. The nowadays a strong animal kills the weak animals and eat. 또 권력을 가진 인간이 약한 짐승을 잡아 먹고. And the powerful uh, uh, with the authority human being kills other animals and eat them. 공중에 날아다니는 새들도 잡아 먹고 and even the fowls uh, kill them and eat them 물에 놀고 있는 그 예쁜 물고기들도 다 잡아 먹고 and all the fish that playing around inside the water kill them and eat them 아, 이렇게 살도록 하지 않았어요. This was a, not the design that God had in the beginning. 하나님께서 이런 거는 우리가 먹도록 만들어 놓지 않았습니다. These things were not supposed for us to eat. These were not the kind of food that we should eat into put into our mouth. But when the sin came into this world, our thoughts were 
destroyed. Our appetite was damaged. Our understanding of nutrition also has changed. That's why we learn from a famous nutritionist and we think that we are to eat these kind of things. Nowadays, a lot of people, their physical constitution has changed is because we have been eating this type of things. There is a time in the Bible though, in Genesis chapter 9 and Leviticus 11, there was a time God allowed these type of things uh, temporarily. That was not because it was beneficial for our body. There was a second best food because there was a no food available at that time. That's why God temporarily allowed for us to eat. If we are capable of finding what God instructed, then that is the best food that we, we, we should find and eat. And even nowadays, all the uh, animals, all the cattle, and all the fish is uh, even worse than back that time. Because nowadays all the animals are sick and they are dying. And because of so much trash that we are dumping into water, and also those all the fishes are all contaminated. And by eating them, we are planting seed of sickness into our body. While we are eating those things, we cannot maintain our healthy body at all. That's why our food should not be following the uh, science that human being made. We should eat the food that God designed and God instructed. By faith, we should eat that kind of food. Because our recovery can come only through our obedience to the word of God. I have been sharing this from the very beginning of our session. When we obey the word of God and by believing we eat and live, when we receive the word of God into our heart, then there's a change in our thoughts. When we eat the food that God instructed for us to eat as a healthy food, then in our body there's a recovery. That's how, by obedience to the word of God, our body and our mind will be changed. But from heaven, Satan began to deceive people. Today, he is deceiving the whole population of the world. Uh, by his deception. We human beings, are, instead of learning from God, we are learning from other humans and we discard God's teaching. That's as a result, the food that human nutritionists recommend for us to eat is a causing in our body sickness. Uh, once in a while, I uh, have to go and visit a hospital. Uh, 
uh, those people who I'm acquainted with and they are sick, then I need to go and visit them. And sometimes while I was um, visiting them, the, the hospital provides food for the patient. Often I see those food and I, I think, think to myself, None of those things can be, uh, should be eaten by the patient. If that patient eat that food, then his sickness cannot be healed. And often I think that I get rid of all that and I prepare food and then provide for the patient. So often I, I, I become so sad. If our uh, doctors who try to heal the patient's sickness, if our doctors understand what kind of food will heal the patients, if they understand what is the right food for the patient and if they can teach what's the right food for the patients, then how the healing will be fast and, 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 and improved a lot. How they can teach those many of those patients that they can prevent the sickness before they get sick. And the doctors have a surgery for the cancer patient. And if they become a little bit better, then give them uh, anti-cancer drugs. And if they uh, give uh, anti-cancer uh, uh, medication, and because, they, uh, because of that uh, medicine, they become so weak, then the doctors recommend them to eat meat uh, again. And if they become a little bit strong and they come back and then they put again anti-cancer medicine and they kill the cells all down. And because the, uh, a lot of white blood cells are weak so they ask them to eat uh, a lot of meat so they can be strong. I hope that uh, in this land, the doctors do not do that, but in Korea, that's what the doctors do. Especially when the cells uh, become sick and become abnormal, and how to deal with, the, with these cells to make it strong, many doctors have no idea. If that doctor, if those doctors knew God, if they understand how God created and if they study the word of God, then they could have saved so many uh, uh, sick souls. As you heard this morning, uh, all the powerful remedies God used for healing of our body is all in nature. And sometimes I feel so sad and I even feel pressure that when I see the reality in the hospital today. Sometimes I feel the urge of snatching away the food that going into the patient's mouth. But most of the patients, because doctor said you eat this, so they think that they must eat that food. Every hospital has a nutritionist, and because they uh, decide this menu and this uh, food, so they believe that all the food the hospital provides that they can eat and be healthy. At one time, I went to a hotel, I a hospital, and then I had a health lecture. In that place, there was a three nutritionists. And I was uh, lecturing how we can be healthy, what kind of food we should eat. 
those three nutritionists came to me. 우리 요양병원에 음식 식단 짜는 걸좀 가르쳐 달라는 거예요. Please teach us how we can make a menu plan. 그래서 제가 우리 베델에서 먹는 음식 우리 성경에서 말씀한 대로를 얘기했어요. So I told them what the Bible teaches and what in our Bethel Sanitarium how we plan a menu. 그리고 그분들이 나중에 메뉴를 다 적어 가더니 저희 베델에 왔어요. And then they wrote down all the menus, and then later on they came to our sanitarium. They came to learn how to prepare this food. So I used the Councils on Food and Diet and explained from that book how they can prepare. I learned all this information from this book, so you can do the same. 네, 의사는 사람을 창조한 사람이 아닙니다. Doctors are not the creator of human being. 의사는 하나님이 창조하신 몸을 많이 연구해서 약간 지식을 가지고 있을 뿐입니다. Doctors, doctors have knowledge about the human body that God created. 그렇기 때문에 세밀하게 우리 몸이 뭘 필요로 하는지를 잘 모를 수도 있습니다. That's why they may not know or understand all what our body really needs. 그리고 우리 몸에 자연 치유력이 있다는 것은 알지만 어떻게 할 때에 자연 치유력이 일어나는지를 또잘 모릅니다. And some doctors know that our body has its own spontaneous natural healing power in itself, but they do not understand how we uh, initiate or when what we do to our body to those natural healing power can be initiated. But in this book, it's all written there. So I recommended those books and they went back with those books. So I told them, you study on these books and uh, prepare so that you can prepare for the uh, patients how you, you, you know how to deal with them. 여러분이 가지고 계신 그 책에 건강 회복 이야기가 나옵니다. In this book, there are testimonies of how people were healed. 그맨 앞에 보면 직장암 말기 하는 제목이 나옵니다. Uh, in the first story, in your book, uh, part one, chapter seven has that story. And in that book, in that part, there's a one uh, patient who had a lactam cancer uh, last stage. Uh, when you have your own time, read that. He was a doctor. His father was also a doctor. His uh, siblings were all, four of them were doctors. And the one who gave testimony in that book was the oldest son. And to him, the lactam cancer came. When he went to the toilet, there was a no uh, stool came out, but only the blood came out. So he thought it was a uh, constipation, hemorrhoid. He was uh, wondering what it is, and he was to uh, keep on uh, dealing with a uh, hemorrhoid. Uh, he thought that because the stool was not coming out easily, so he thought I have a constipation. And there was a pain, so he thought, there's a, how can I reduce this pain? So he was using a lot of painkillers. He did that for six months. One day, he went to the toilet and he was, uh, he, he was doing his major business and instead of a uh, stool coming out, it was a pouring out of blood. There was no uh, stool, but just a whole bunch of blood. So he quickly ran and called his nurse, come. Look at it. What do you think what it is? Ah, 
the, the nurse looked at him on his face and he said, You doctor, and you're so stupid. You need to go quickly by uh, ambulance, you need to go to the hospital. So he had a thorough checkup. He was lactam cancer last stage. This cancer was already uh, spread to the bone. If the cancer is spread to the uh, bone, then the pain is so severe. The colon also had a cancer. It was a condition that operation cannot be done. But because he could not have a, a bowel movement, so he had to, had to make a hole to the side. And so to make that hole, they had to have a surgery. So his father came to the hospital where his son was lying. How in the world to my son this thing happened? He was so sad, but there was nothing he could do. His old siblings, his brothers came to the hospital, but none of them could give an answer for this problem of his, their own brother. They all they had a very sad. They didn't know what to do. But to make a hole to the side, they had to have a surgery. 그리고 수술을 하면서 그 주변에 있는 것은 약간 잘라내고 그냥 항문 주문을 하나 찾습니다. So uh, as they do uh, a little bit on the around that area they were able to cut off and they had a little uh, bag they uh, make a, as a lactam. 그리고 이 주치 의사가 이제 온몸에 암이 퍼져 있기 때문에 에, 나머지는 어, 항암제 치료를 해야 돼. And so the, the main doctor explained that because now the cancer is all spread all over, uh, need to treat with the anti-cancer medicine. But the patient himself declined. The reason why he declined was because he knew the side effect of the drug, uh, anti-cancer drug. He knew with the radiation and uh, chemotherapy and all surgery cannot heal this cancer. He knew well. He was a specialist. Uh, the women's uh, hormone and the breast cancer of woman, he was a specialist on that uh, specific area. So he already prepared a book to publish. He was uh, prepared a thick book. So this uh, person already, he was very well aware of what cancer truly is. He knew well this chemo and radiation and anti-cancer medicine cannot deal, cannot heal the problem. But he never thought that that cancer would come to himself. He thought that doctors would never have a cancer. Now something happened that he never imagined actually happened to him. So he consulted with his main doctor. I'm a doctor too. You know, you know well that the uh, anti-cancer drug and radiation cannot heal this. You know that. So he asked to that his main doctor, if you are in my shoes, would, would you use this anti-drug cancer and radiation for you? I cannot use this. 
So the, the doctor who was dealing with him, he was listening very attentively. So this doctor again asked him, Tell me, without radiation, without chemotherapy, how long do you think I can survive? Because he was the, the manager, he was in charge of the, his own hospital. So he said, I need to go back and I need to clear up my hospital. And I need to clean up, uh, uh, put in all, everything in order in my family. And I have to put everything in order in my life. Tell me, how long do you think I can live? The doctor say nothing. The doctor said, probably um, you can go to China or somewhere where good uh, air is and rest about three months. When he heard that, he understood what the doctor was telling him. Ah, I have only three months left. If that's the only time that I have, then I have to hurry in putting everything in order. His father, the doctor who was working as a professor, was an elder on a Sunday church. Uh, elder. Uh, the, his mother was also a uh, head deaconess of the church. His father was a doctor who was a major uh, many different aspects of medicine practice. So he was also very well knowledgeable with the Chinese medicine. 그래서 어떤 체질에는 어떤 음식을 먹어야 한다는 것을 많이 많이 가르친 교수입니다. So he was a professor who taught with a certain uh, physical constitution what kind of food is good and some other physical constitution uh, some other kind of food is good. He studied a lot of those. 그래서 자기 자식들에게 이 아버지가 다 음식을 처방했어요. So often father recommended to his sons what kind of food they should eat. 근데 이 장남인 이 아들은 어, 체질적으로 고기를 먹어야 되는 체질이래요. According to his father's uh, judgment, this oldest son was supposed to eat a lot of meat uh, by his physical constitution. 여러분 사람을 누가 창조하셨지요? Who created God? 우리의 체질을 누가 아십니까? Who knows our physical constitution? 우리 몸을 만드신 분이 체질을 아시겠죠? Don't you think that the one who made our body would know our physical constitution the best? Did he say in Genesis 1.29, what, what kind of food did he ask us to eat? This kind of totally wrong understanding with his knowledge, he is training many other doctors. Can you imagine from this senior doctor how many uh, disciples, how many uh, doctors were trained by him with that knowledge? And can you imagine how many doctors blindly obey and listen to his lecture and practice in their practice. This doctor who was uh, sick and lying on, on bed, from his elementary school, because his father told him what kind of food should he eat, so he ate a lot of meat from that age. And when he uh, decided to have a little surgery down there, so he opened it. According to uh, his physical constitution, his um, uh, colon intestines had to have a certain size. 
하도 고기를 많이 먹어서 장벽이 이렇게 다 좁아져 있어요. Because of too much uh, meat consumption, his inside of his uh, uh, colon was uh, filled so much and it became so narrow. 거기서 오래 전부터 암이 자라고 있었던 것이. Inside there, from long time, there was a cancer was growing. 그리고 이 암이 자라서 장을 꽉 막아 버렸어. And this cancer now was totally blocking the colon. 대, 대변이 통과가 안 되는 거야. That's why the stool could not move. 그래서 의사가 자르면서 그러더래요. So the doctor was, as he was doing surgery cutting, he was mentioning. 당신 고기 많이 먹었군요. 그러더래요. You ate so much meat. Because as he was cutting, he could see there was a lot, lots of waste from the meat was just packed there. The patient, the doctor, when he heard this, he was so shocked. He thought, from the elementary school age, I have been eating meat and that was the cause of this sickness. That was a for him. For him, it was a shock. Ah, because I ate so much meat, that's why I have this sickness. But even though he was regretting, he was way too late already. When he had finished his surgery and he was lying down in his uh, on his room, there's a food came from the hospital. And in that food again, there was so much meat there. And I heard, just heard that I ate so much meat and because of that I have this sickness. And on top of this, if I eat more meat, what will happen? So the doctor said, shaking head. There was a one of his relatives who heard that he had a surgery, so he came to the hospital. That relative's uh, younger sister was our Adventist uh, deaconess. And she saw the food that the hospital provided. And she said, oh, brother, you should not eat this food. You, you are sick because of this food that you have been eating. You should not eat this food. I'll bring food from my home. So from that time on, this uh, relative younger sister uh, began to bring food from her home with a brown rice and uh, vegetables and healthy diet she began to bring from that day on. 아, 그러면서 아, 내가 저런 음식을 먹어서 잘못했구나. 그게 다르어요. He realized that I have been eating a wrong kind of food. 아, 근데 이제 수술 회복이 돼서 집으로 퇴원을 해야 됐어요. Now he became a little bit better so he was able to go home. 그런데 이 뼈로 전이가 된 오니까 얼마나 통증이 심한지 진통제만 받아 가지고 퇴원을 했어요. But as he was going back home still because of this uh, spreading to his bone, the, there's a, so much pain, so he had to receive this painkiller and went back home. So he could not sleep properly because of the pain. So he prayed to God. My father and mother attend church. He was not attending church himself. He said to his parents, ah, where is that kind of God? I don't go to church. So until his middle school age, he attended church. But after that, he decided not to go to church anymore. At that time, he was 56 years old. According to his own thought, he just uh, forget about God, and uh, according to his own will, he studied and lived and eat and his life. 
He was not interested about the God that his parents were talking about. He thought, I know more than God. Of course, he thought that uh, learning from God is not as good as I learned from our scholars. So he studied many different aspects of study. He was a, he was a rather scholar than doctor. When he realized that when he was so sick, he realized that with the, the uh, medicine uh, knowledge that his father knew and his, uh, all his brothers knew, he could not live. He saw the limit of human uh, medicine pr practice. But he really wanted to live. So when he went back home, he could not sleep, so he was hanging on to God, pleading. God, I'm so sorry I made a mistake, and please give me just one more opportunity. If you exist, then provide me one more opportunity. I truly want to live. I really want to know you, God. Please help me to be alive. And he prayed and he prayed. He could not sleep. But still, the pain was there and so severe. When he got up in the morning, he got a phone call from the, the relative sister. 오빠 저 서울에 어느 교회에서 저 경남 하동에 그 베데레 원장이 와서 건강 세미나를 하는데 가볼래 그랬어요. She called and said, in Seoul, uh, in a in a church, there is a, a little seminar. Someone came from uh, far down south, a place called Bethel, and they came and they are holding a seminar in the church. Would you like to go with me? At that time, I was holding a meeting in one of the churches in Seoul. The meeting started last night, previous night. And I was uh, giving lecture in the morning and in the evening. In the second day, in the morning lecture time, that doctor and his whole family came and attended that meeting. 환자하고 환자 와이프하고 아버지하고 그 소개한 집사하고 네 명이 왔어요. The doctor who was a patient and the doctor's father and his wife and also the deaconess who introduced this, they four of them came to the meeting. 이번에 와서 앉자마자 제가 강의하는 얘기가 귀에 들어오기 시작했어요. He said later, as soon as he came in and he sat down. He began to, he, in his ear, the lecture began to come in. On that day, I was lecturing about Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, what kind of food we humans should eat. I was sharing the many reasons why we get sick is because we eat what God said should not eat. But if we repent what we have done wrong and we come back to God and we begin to obey by eating what He asks us to do, then He will recover us. According to Exodus 15, 26, God surely He promised. If, if you listen to my word and obey, if you do right when I see you, if you keep the law and the statutes and the uh, regulations, if you obey all my words, if you believe in me and obey me, 
Then, uh, not only the disease that I gave to the heathen people of Egypt, I will be a healing God for you. I will be Jehovah God. I read that portion of the Bible and I explained how we should eat. I explained for every human being, all the different physical constitution, the best food is explained in Genesis 1.29. God knew our physical constitution so well, that's why God uh, uh, instructed this type of food we should eat. Many of us are sick because God said have a dominion over them, but we kill them and eat them. Because of that, we, many of us are sick. But if we uh, give all that thing, give up all those things, and we repent and go return to God, and we uh, obey His word, then God will be the one who heal us. On that day, I explained those five things of proper diet. On that day, first day he came, when he heard that lecture, with a by faith, he hold on to that by faith. Ah, because I have been eating so much meat, I got sick. I have been eating this when God said, do not eat. When the doctor, as he was doing the surgery, he said, oh, you ate so much meat. And uh, his relative sister also mentioned that, uh, brother, if you eat this, you will get even sick, sicker. And now he came to the seminar and he also heard again the third time. All these uh, three times of hearing, now his brain was beginning to be changed. All the thought that he had been accumulated in his brain was uh, uh, de uh, destroyed, demolished. He thought to himself, I'm a doctor and I don't know what a uh, human, human being should eat properly and what kind of doctor am I? I'm not a doctor. He thought himself, when I don't know what I should eat properly, how can I be a doctor? I became sick like this, and how can I teach other people? On that day, in that seat, he, he fell down and he just wept. After the lecture, everybody was going for a meal, but he didn't go. He just sat down there and he was just weeping and he was repenting. God, I'm so sorry that I was uh, thinking that I'm the greatest doctor and I'm so well knowledge and I thought uh, I, I, I know so much. I'm so sorry, God, I didn't know. On that day, he dead. He was dead. On that day, even though he had uh, three months of life, his body, physical body was still alive. His self, his ego was totally dead on that day. To him, the Holy Spirit came. He was a, a deeply, he was a repenting. He had a very um, 
uh, uncomfortable relationship with some of his brothers, but on that day, he gave up all up. His the struggle with, with his wife was also all gone. All I was wrong. I did wrong. God, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Please accept me. Please make me a new person. I did wrong. I'm so sorry. He poured out his sin and he repented. After that, he felt peace. 제가 점심 먹고 첫 시간에 환자 상담이 있었는데요. After lunch, I had a, a patient consultation. 예, 이 가족들이 제일 먼저 상담 왔어요. And this family was the first uh, patient that I had a consultation. 그런데 이분이 일어서면서 저를 손을 꽉 잡았어요. And he, as he stood up and he held my hand tight. 아, 원장님 나는 이제부터 의사 아닙니다. He told me, from now on, I'm, a, not, I'm not a doctor. 내 몸을 창조하신 분이 의사입니다. The God who created my body, He is doctor. I will learn from God. I want to study. What should I do? So I told him, drink water, eat fruit, all the things that I have been telling you. That's what I told him. Just as you are doing, I told him to do the same thing. And from the rest of one week, uh, you come and you follow and exactly follow what we have been telling you and what others are doing. Tell me, can you guess how he become? You read that story in part one, chapter seven, the first story. Even now, he is well alive. This story is many years ago, but he's still alive and healthy and well. He became Adventist. He's sincerely, faithfully serving in the church. There's a promise that God will heal us. And there's also a condition. Just as you believe in Jesus, as you can have an eternal life. If you can obey the health law that I set in you, if you obey that, I will heal you. God is the creator God. God is the one who created the whole universe. God is the one who made us. Through our father and mother, God gave us the how we can be replenished the earth. God set the law in us, in our bodies. That's why we are born. Uh, maybe some of you, your parents did not know God, so you have been living without knowing God. Uh, you may never met a teacher who knew God, so you may have not learned about God through your teachers. But even now, we can learn about God through the Bible. You can learn and you can meet God who truly God is. We can experience the meeting with the God. I hope through, by faith and by obedience, you will be blessed. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. You didn't ask our wrongs and mistakes in the past. God, thank you because you said as soon as we return to you, then you will recover us. We want to meet you through our faith and obedience. Please lead us into that blessing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.